One of the first cars we came across during the Summit Midwest Drags earlier this summer was Terry Miller's 1982 Pontiac Firebird with a 565 cubic inch big block Chevy engine in it. Naturally, we had to know more about it, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave, Precision Performance Pengrave, always the original green oil. Elring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We spoke to Terry during day one of the Midwest Drags, but due to sound issues and tons of drag and drive cars firing up around us, the audio wasn't salvageable. So here's an overview of Terry's streetcar and big block Chevy engine. He bought this 82 Firebird when he was just 15 years old. Now closing in on 45, Terry has owned the vehicle for 30 years. Naturally, the Firebird has gone through several different iterations, but it's always remained street oriented. Terry's done some small tire 275 radial racing and heads up racing. He's run it on nitrous as well, but since finding drag and drive events back in 2017, Terry's focused on the naturally aspirated classes. In fact, Terry was at the Midwest Drags this year looking for a three-peat in the NA class. Helping him achieve this feat is a 565 cubic inch big block Chevy engine that features a Dart aluminum block and Dart Pro 355 heads, which aside from new valve and spring combos, new Jessel rockers, and some port work are right out of the box. The engine has a short 4250 stroke, but a 4600 bore. It has a Cali's rotating assembly with 13 to one compression JE pistons. And Terry told us he turns it at about 8,600 RPM through the traps. The Dominator carb on top was built by Competition Carburation in Nevada. Wilson manifolds did the intake manifold and the bulk of the engine was put together and built by Terry himself. Of course, not owning a machine shop, Terry does get machine work done at either Sperry Engines in Cedar Rapids, Iowa or Shepard Engines in Muscatine, Iowa. According to Terry, every time this engine's been put on the dyno, it makes just under 1,000 horsepower naturally aspirated. The car has been a fastest 763 at 182 miles an hour in the quarter mile on nitrous, and it consistently goes 850s to 860s naturally aspirated. The Firebird has an 850 certified cage, so Terry admits it's a little sketchy going in the mid-7s. Behind the big block Chevy is a Powerglide transmission with a 180 first gear and a 410 9 inch rear gear. The car is pretty streetable thanks to a big radiator, an electric fan, and electric water pump. The vacuum pump for the engine is actually removed when Terry street drives the Firebird so it doesn't pull oil out. He runs about 10 inches of vacuum when he's going down the track. Something a little unique that Terry does is drive and race on the exact same tires, but it seems to work as he's had no trouble winning recently. He even ended up completing his 3 p at the Summit Midwest Drags this year. Well, thanks for tuning into this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks to Pengrade One, Elring, NPW Companies, and Engine and Performance Warehouse for sponsoring the series. Make sure you guys are subscribed to see more engine content, and we'll see you all next time.